are you and what is your artistic habit? My name is Jilly Appleheimer and my artistic habit uh, habits include um, the paintings and drawings and photography I have on display here at Square Peg and I also write. What is it about your preferred medium that seduces you? So in terms of painting right now, I really enjoy, I'm into working on big canvases and I like moving around the canvas, I like it to be very physical. I like, um, in working with acrylics, I like to layer a lot of paint and I like the texture and I like expressing differences in texture. How do you envision your work evolving from this point? So basically right now I see um, that I'm learning a lot more about I guess how to approach the mindset of the work and I'm realizing that it's important to do certain things to keep that creative channel open and to remain connected and I think that as I approach my work more mindfully and create that balance more effectively, I see that in my, in my painting um, and in my writing especially that that allows for the work to be a lot more authentic. What kinds of imagery are you drawn to? Um, right now I'm painting a lot of images that show the, the feminine in a powerful um, or strong pose or in movement um, that express my um, interest in and the, the beauty and the peace that I find in nature and also show um, travel and, and an and an adventurous spirit. Um, I like tying in images from different um, spiritualities and faiths as well and sort of expressing the sacred of the feminine and the sacred of nature uh, along with those images. Can you give us two artisans we should Google and why? Yes, um, absolutely. Um, I like Krista Peel's watercolor a lot. It makes me smile. I think it has a very soft um, and just the, the use of color and the images, they just make me happy. And watercolor is tough, so I like to look at her stuff. Um, and I also like Laura Zamaro's um, glass and pendants a lot. I think they're really beautiful. And both of those artists are on the website. Why do you love Square Peg? Oh, I love Square Peg for a number of reasons. Uh, mainly, mainly Rachel and Jen. <laughs> um, they've created a, a really lovely and special environment here. And I just like, I, I found as I was hanging my art and getting ready for the show that I just liked being here. Um, that it's just a, a nice place. It's, um, there's an eclectic mix of work and, um, it's great to see all kinds of things by local artists, um, and it's just a, a really, really fun environment. Have you ever been jailed for your art? Not yet. <laughs> I have not been jailed yet. Um, but I think if I were to be jailed for my art, I would make the most of it. I'm sure I would, I would um, have a lot of good conversations, and possibly Sunday dinner, a la the movie Goodfellas. Have somebody sneak in some garlic, make a sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else that you'd like to add? So a portion of the profits from my work at the show right now, that's up at the gallery, until, are, um, uh, until the end of October, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm donating a portion of that to um, Not For Sale. It's an organization that um, helps to protect women and children in vulnerable situations around the world and to help to um, assist people who have been um, victims of human trafficking. And 
Um, this is particularly important for me, and if you see the show, you'll see images in the art um, of, um, of the sacred feminine of nature. Um, I, I feel that um, it's important with whatever you love to do, um, whatever you love to create and contribute to this world, to allow for and work in some way to allow for other people to be able to pursue what makes them happy um, and to um, pursue that in a, in a safe space, in a healthy space. And that's why the show right now is, is very important to me. I would like to um, support that cause and to um, help those people. So, thank you. I'll skip around a little bit, just so that not everyone is so brunk, brunk, brunk. Okay, cool. Which is, I think, actually a butt reference, but yeah, it is. Brunk, brunk, yeah. Yeah.